Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0, the mod suite for the Realism Overhaul setup of mods for Kerbal Space Program. And today we are going to try to go back to the moon. Um, I am basically going to reuse, or use again, I should say, because it's a new rocket, the uh, re-entry test vehicle that we flew uh, an episode or two back. And I'm going to basically try to swing it around the moon, take some pictures, and then do a free return trajectory and see how well that heat shield holds up uh, in anticipation of crewed flights. I am just waiting for a relative inclination here to get down to uh, an acceptable amount before we go ahead and kick off this launch. It'll definitely be a nighttime launch. So we're probably just going to make sure everything gets off the pad okay and then skip forward so that you guys don't have to watch a big black screen for ages and ages. Let me just, all right, there we go. So let's peg it out, rocket is fueled, let's put our main engine down on the same stage. And three, two, one, ignition. All right, the ignition looks good. We are go for liftoff. And we are clear of the tower. So, all right, so far so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this up to orbit and I will see you guys there. All right, and we made it to orbit with exactly no problems. I have set up the node for our moon flyby, which includes a free return, completely free. And we are just going to, uh, oh, oops, <laughs> wrong button. Yes, vapor and feed lines. All right, um, the total burn time on this engine is about five minutes, or is exactly five minutes. But we have a whole lot of uh, hydrazine that we can, no, no, I toned it down to 100 units instead of uh, the normal 150 or so. So I was going to use it to ullage the motor and then assist in the burn also. But I uh, really can't hurt, I suppose. Yeah, there's our uh, lunar insertion stage. We just kind of bumped away from it a little bit, and now we're, here we are three quarters of an orbit later, nearly two clicks out. All right, um, I really don't want to mess up this burn. The probe itself has its own RCS system. We can make some adjustments uh, as we do our flyby of the moon, but it doesn't have a whole lot of battery. I did slap some solar panels on it to try to aid with that battery life, but I did not do anything to try to figure out um, how long that battery stuff should last but I uh, yeah if you recognize all of this it's because we flew up on another uh, R8D uh, the only things I did change on this was I added some antennas to the probe um, some batteries and add two antennas down here just to make sure all right well three minute mark go ahead and fire up that engine and we'll just uh, adjust to that node for just a second go wrong button and then we're just gonna lay on the RCS because there's almost enough in this stage to do a hole in one push but uh, if we use the RCS fuel as well as lightening our load but giving us a little oomph and throttle we might have enough to do it and we might have enough to keep this thing attached which has far more battery life than our actual return stage. So we can do all the actual piloting with this and just kind of let this thing fly home. Great, perfect. Aerodynamics will point it in the right spot and we can just arm the parachute. Speaking of which, arm parachute, there. <laughs> just so I don't screw that whole thing up. Yeah, our estimated burn time is down to six minutes, which again, exceeds the actual both fuel and runtime in this AJ-10. Just says mid. Dang it. Um, I've already forgotten. It's like the second upgrade of the AJ-10 mid that you can get, which is a really fantastic engine. I really, really, really do enjoy that. And there's the moon. Sitting very pleasantly there, just on our scatterer horizon, which is always beautiful. Hmm. So yes, uh, this mission again is to test the uh, tenacity of this heat shield, 
if we can use just this one for crude return, then we know we can do uh, orbital free return trajectories, which will save us a lot of fuel and a lot of time at the end game. And it's also to get some of that sweet, sweet science by sending a film return camera to the moon. I don't know if we're going to hit the dark side of the moon. Uh, I did not even go check. But we might, and that would be cool. And we can name it after Russian things. Or not. Whichever. So, um, I hope the audio is a lot better in this episode than previous episodes. I've been experimenting around with uh, OBS and XSplit, which was my preferred means of recording after... Uh, Oh man, I forgot the software I was using for Divix. Uh, it was just giving me way too many problems. I abandoned that about uh, a year ago and went back to school. So that was why I haven't been making many videos for a very, very long time. But uh, now that I have some time to sink into a uh, quality RP0 playthrough, I figured I might as well. I, I love Kerbal Space Program, but sometimes a stock game just really doesn't uh, doesn't make me think hard enough. It doesn't pose a lot of challenges. It doesn't really throw a curveball like RP Zero will do. All right, we are just past the node. It says we got another two minutes and 19 seconds on this burn time. We got a minute 44s worth of fuel. Great. Did we run out of RCS? Oh, there it is. I was just within a window. My mistake. But uh, I don't plan on keeping any of that RCS um, for anything, really. We're just going to go ahead and dump it all out right here. In hopes that it... Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, look. We got 1176 here. 1150 something here, so we might have enough to do a mid course correction, which I'm very certain we're going to have to do. So maybe I'll leave some of this RCS in the tank after all. Yeah, 20 seems like a good enough amount, right? back on that node before I botch this whole thing entirely too terribly, but then, you know, that would be nothing new, I suppose. There's always the fun part, is can you tap X at the exact correct second? Stay on that node. Come on. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Kill it. Damn it. Three point nine meters per second off. It says we got nothing left in the stage. Oh man, we really don't. <laughs> we really don't have anything left in the stage. Yeah. Nothing at all. We do have hydrazine. Which I don't know if it's going to give us that... I don't know if that's going to be enough really to do it. Alright. Let's go see how we did. We have no intercept. Great. All right, well then, let's give ourselves a node. Let's focus view out here. Whoa, buddy. Oh. All right, there it is. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> That's going to be a really high flyby, but I'm not very concerned with that, honestly. I'm concerned with our return trajectory. Come on, give me a periapsis. Give me a periapsis. 
copy and then it disappears. Boink. All right, so we're just gonna have to go with that and we'll make a correction out here just to make sure. Down the staging, what's our power draw looking like? Not that, not too terrible, really. All right, and... God, how much hydrazine do we have? Oh, that's probably not gonna work. Do I have to where you can transfer resources? Nope. Well, we'll see what we can get out of this and see how it affects our trajectory here. Ooh. Oh, would you look at that. Just look at it. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Ooh, buddy. Come on, come on, have enough fuel, please have enough fuel. Two million. One million. All right. And now it's not showing us having an intercept anymore. <laughs> what did I do wrong? I really don't understand. Whoa, come on now. <sighs> All right, let's focus view back here. No, focus, no. There we go. Uh, I can't imagine I have any useful amount of fuel in that stage. Well then. Turn our stability control off just to make sure it's not firing against our means here. Oh, that was that was literally it, huh? Yeah, that was literally it. We'll do the, the cheaty method of engaging time warp. And then we'll not be able to click on our tanks. God damn it. Uh, RP0, I love you to death. I really do, but man, some of these interesting bugs are just killing me sometimes. All right, where are we at? Do we have a, yes, we have one. Awesome, we did it. All right, and there's no sun for me to angle into just yet, but um, no. We are gonna carry our dead stage and use its battery because we need to. And we'll go ahead and start our long and arduous time warp out to the moon. But um, when we get there, it'll be a new episode. So I will see you guys later. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I'll see you next time.